Okay, so I love your show. In fact, I'm obsessed with it, obsessed with you. But one of my favorite things is your suit. Careful. Yeah, <laughs> and that's my favorite. Ah, but um, I have a dilemma. I've been married 27 years. Oh. My husband used to really dress almost as good as you, but he's kind of lost it. He I lost mean, it? He, I mean, like he, <laughs> he wears suits. But yeah, it's just kind of, and I just need your help. I look, I bought these very expensive Swarovski ties. He wears Swarovski he, ties. Yes, I mean like to galas and special Ricci? occasions. Stefano Ricci. Well, I I picked out the Judith Lieber, and he went and picked out the rest. Oh, they Judith Lieber ties. Well, yeah, they nice not too. Not all of them, but I used to wear these on stage. Really? I used to wear Swarovski crystal ties. I, they're, Stefano Ricci made them. I love them. I never and, heard of this. This is nice. What's wrong? Well, he needs to step up his game. I mean, he, he just lost. I mean. They Swarovski crystal tie. Those are nice, and he wears them. But he, I want him to do the handkerchiefs. I want him to. He, look, I mean. See, this is a nice dude. Look, you got yes, a nice husband. Good looking I guy. I adore him, but. Tall. I want him to dress like you. I mean. Uh -uh. He, no. <laughs> oh. And that's my favorite outfit. What is? What you're wearing now, the purple, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Listen to me. Woo! <laughs> we are trying to save a marriage here. <laughs> what, what, what do you want? Uh, I want... <laughs> I want to know how you do your pocket thingy, and how you how they how you match it up. And you've been working out, I know, for your birthday, and you are looking good. I mean, Lady, you finna mess around and get yourself in a situation. <laughs> so how, how do I get him? I don't know if it's me or what, or he's older or what. I just want him yeah. back to that. I okay, want to well, snap him back into okay, it. Well, how old is your husband? 62. Oh, I'm 60. He there. He only 62. OK, so you can't help me. Yeah, I can help you. This, first of all, yeah. there's an old song out that goes, love the one you with. I do. I know you love him. He's a great guy. He's sharp. Now, what you do is, you can get this back to this if you make this a little different. So here's what you do. Oh. It's a trade-off. When your husband comes in and says, sweetie, if you dress up tonight, I have a surprise for you. Of course, he'll go, really? So when he dresses up and he comes home, you have your bathrobe on. But don't close your bathroom. See, that's what y'all do. Y'all close it, it y'all lap it, and then you tie it up, and just too much. Have about this much space between your bathroom. Right about here. It covers everything except, and then just put your little string on right here, and just have this open. And get yourself some heels. His ass will put this suit on every damn day. Now, you're a very attractive woman. You still got it. Look at you. Got a nice little shape on you and everything. Let a man see it for no reason. Well, maybe I don't, you know. Yeah, let him have okay. it. OK. This your husband. My. This is, give it to him. <laughs> let him open it up. Now, see, listen to me. Why is it that when we get older, we all of a sudden get shame? Stop being shame. Open your bathrobe. Matter of fact, damn the strain. <laughs> and just let it fly. And open the door and say, hey, honey, how you doing? Welcome home. Step back, let him take a good look, and then just head on to the kitchen. <laughs> His ass is coming in the kitchen. <laughs> and then you can say, honey, I would like for you to dress up in a nice certain tie for me, because there's more for you. I bet you he'll do it. Okay. Okay. 
I want you to be happy. This is a great guy. What did, what did he do for a living? He's an orthodontist. You know how much money he got? <laughs> how many of y'all of you was married to the orthodontist wouldn't give a damn what he wore? Thank you very much. <laughs>